Today I'll show you how you can collect your customer's feedback from WhatsApp automatically. So assume that we are collecting these feedback once the customer has successfully attended the appointment with us. What will happen? This automated message will be sent to the customer's WhatsApp number after 2-3 to three hours of the appointment along with this customer feedback form link. So customer will click on this form link, submit this customer feedback form and in this way you will be able to collect the feedback from your customers automatically from WhatsApp only. Now, doesn't matter which booking software you have used to schedule this appointment, whether it is tidycal.com or equity scheduling or Canonly, you can use any booking software and automate this customer feedback collection process. And in order to send the WhatsApp messages, you will have to use our dedicated application for sending the WhatsApp messages. In this particular case, I'm going to use this Vati application, but Again, in place of Vati, you can also go with AI Sensi or Interact or any other WhatsApp application. Now, in order to automate this whole process, we will have to build a connection in this Vati and in this Tidical application. And also for creating my customer feedback form, I have used this Google Forms application. Now, let's start creating this automation step by step. So, currently, I am assuming that you already have an account in a WhatsApp application that is Vati. And and in this booking software application that is in Tidical. Now, once you have scheduled your appointment in this booking software, after that, we will build the connection for which I will use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have directly pasted the name as collect the customer's feedback from WhatsApp automatically. Now it is asking to select the folder. So I'll be selecting this main workflow folder. Now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes. So these boxes are actually called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever any new appointment is scheduled in any booking software like tidical this automation should trigger okay so currently i am going with tidical in place of tidical you can also go with equity scheduling or applications like Calendly, okay, but according to our use case, I'll go with the same that is Tidical. So basically, by selecting this application, I am going to fetch out the timing of the appointment, and then after two to three hours of that appointment timing, I am going to send the WhatsApp message along with that customer feedback form link, okay. And as I have told you, I am going to send the messages using Vati application. So I have selected the same application as an action application. In this way, by clicking on this plus icon, you can add as many as action step as you want and automate your complex business process basically by connecting different applications. Okay, so now the idea here is I am going to connect these two applications one by one with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so let us first connect Tidical with the Pabli Connect. So this is the appointment I have scheduled appointment booking for Salon. Okay, so firstly, I will select the trigger event that is new booking. You can also read the instructions triggers when new booking is scheduled. So yes, I want to perform the same clicking on connect, then clicking on add a new connection, clicking on this button and then it will ask you the access of your Tidical account. Okay, but because I'm already logged in in my Tidical software, so it will automatically detect that access and will not ask the access and the authorization will be successful and my Tidical account will be immediately connected with the Pabli Connect. Okay, fingers crossed waiting for that give me a second
and here you can notice it is connected now as soon as i click on this button it will automatically fetch the recent booking details okay so how about i open my booking page okay yes i am going to open this booking page and as a dummy customer i am going to schedule an appointment okay so how about i schedule the appointment for this 21st of november 2023 and the timing will be this 2:15 pm and here the customer name will be dummy customer all right dummy customer email address is going to be dummy customer123 uh, at pablitudes.com and let me tell you these are just a random details okay because my objective is just to show you how connections can be made or how automations can be created so that is why i am automating this process with dummy details only okay so i have added a 10 digit phone number also clicking on this book event and as soon as this booking this appointment is scheduled for this particular timing i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will notice that the response will be received and that response will consist of the same booking details you can even see the same phone number which i have provided at the time of appointment booking we also have the start and end date let me also show you the name that is appointment booking for salon and here we have the customer details that is the same dummy email address the same name and we also have all the details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between tidical and public connect is working absolutely fine so now onwards what will happen every time someone will schedule any appointment in the tidical software the details will be captured via public connect in every 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in 10 minutes okay so basically it is not going to capture the data the booking data immediately but after 10 minutes but don't worry about that after this 10 minutes your data will be captured for sure okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done and again telling you in place of tidical you can connect different booking software different appointment booking software with the public connect and automate the process by following the same step but here i would like to tell you one more interesting thing remember we have scheduled the appointment for 2:15 pm and currently we have the start meeting time as this 8:45 pm okay well the date is same the only difference is with the timing because we have scheduled the appointment in asia or kolkata timing but the timing which we have received is actually into the utc format okay so we can simply convert this timing into asia kolkata timing and in this way we will get the same appointment timing okay so before i go to wati step i'll be clicking on this plus icon and will add date and time formatter which is an amazing feature of public connect why which you can apply different kind of operations within your date within your automation workflows okay so here i have selected the same feature in case of action even you'll have to go with this format date with the time zone because yes i want to perform the same clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately now you will have to specify the date which you would like to format okay so remember we have to change this particular start date that is this 8:45 timing okay and the interesting thing here is i'm not going to manually copy this date and time and paste below basically i'm going to map this date and time which will replace this date automatically when my automation will work in real time okay and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down select that data and in this way it will be mapped and again telling you whatever the details you will map here from the drop down these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time so this is the power of mapping that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now it is asking for the from date and the to date okay so currently i have the from format as this y y y y m m d and this t and then h h m m s s and this z okay so i'll be selecting the same format and here you can notice this z is attached with the seconds okay so i am going with the same that is y y y y m m d d t then h h m m s s and this z which is attached with this seconds okay so selecting the same asking for the two format so i'll go with a simpler format that is y y m m d d and then h h m m s s now why i'm 
selecting specifically this format only i'll explain you this later but here i would like to tell you that go with the same format only and finally it's turn to select that time zone so because the same timing has captured into the utc format so i have selected the same and i want the same timing into the asia kolkata timing so again i have selected the same clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately and in the response you can notice we have received the same timing that is of 2:15 pm and the date is also same okay so in this way you can convert your date and time with the help of date time formatter feature and in this way the second step of our automation is also done and let me tell you an interesting thing by clicking on this three dot you can also rename your step in order to avoid any kind of confusion okay so how about i rename the step something like change date time format from utc to asia slash kolkata i hope this timing is looking good basically this name is looking good clicking on update and it has renamed successfully now finally i am going to send the whatsapp message along with this customer feedback form basically i am not going to copy this whole link clicking on the send option clicking on this link option and from here i can shorten this url okay so i will copy this link in my whatsapp message and will send it right away to collect the customers feedback but before that we have a very interesting twist my objective was to send the whatsapp message after 2 to 3 hours of the appointment so i will have to apply some delay of at least 2 to 3 hours so firstly i will have to find out that timing of 2 to 3 hours basically of after 2 to 3 hours and then i will have to stop this automation delay this automation for next to 2 to 3 hours okay so how i am going to perform the same well it is very easy with the pabdi connect click on this plus icon and firstly we are going to find out the timing of after 2 to 3 hours and again i will use date and time formatter feature only okay so this is the feature and that is why i have specifically renamed this step in order to avoid any confusion and this time in the action even i'll go with this add subtract timing i think you have already understood what i am supposed to do here so basically I am going to add three hours into the current appointment timing, asking for the enter date. So yes, I will provide the date of the appointment, but instead of providing this particular date, this start date, I'll go with this recent date which I have just converted. Okay, because this is easy to understand, and this is the exact timing which I have added at the time of appointment scheduling. All right, it is looking good. So because I want to add few hours, so I'll be copying the same. Same syntax, and in place of eight, it is going to be three hours. Asking for the two format, so again I'll go with the simpler format only. That is this Y Y M M D D, and then H H M M S S. Okay, why I am selecting the same format all the time? I'll explain you this later. Asking for the from format, well, it is going to be the same. That is Y Y M M D D H H M M S S because I have provided the date and time in the same format only. Okay, so give me a second. Again, Y Y Y Y. Then M M, and this is the format. All right, clicking on this button, save and send test request, and I'm expecting the timing of after three hours. Okay, okay. So currently we have the timing of 2:15 p.m. So I think after three hours the timing will be 3:15, 4:15, 5:15 .15 p.m. Okay, so scrolling down and checking the timing, and yes, we have the 17:15. That is 5:15 timing only, 5:15 p.m. timing only, and again the date is same. Okay, so in this way you can. also add or subtract the date and timing in your current date and do lot more things with your dates okay so i hope you have understood moving further now it's turn to delay my automation until this specific time because this customer feedback form should be sent on whatsapp after this timing only or on this timing only okay so clicking on this plus icon and this time i'll go with the delay which is again an interesting feature of pabli connect via which you can delay your automation either until a specific time 
or for a specific duration of a time okay i'll show you what exactly i'm saying here all right scrolling down and in the action event i'll go with the add time delay clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately and now it is asking how much delay you want to put in your workflow either you want to go with delay for or you want to delay until if you will go with the delay for you have the option to delay your automation for few minutes or for few hours or for few days and weeks but in this particular case i would like to delay my automation until a specific date and time so remember i was adding i was taking this time format only because i already knew that i will have to provide the delay date in the same format yes it is clearly mentioned here okay so let me map the same timing and the timing here will be of this that is of after 2 to 3 hours okay so it is looking good clicking on this button save and send this request and you will notice that my automation will be delayed until this specific time and when this time will arrive what should be the next step so basically it should send the message on whatsapp automatically and as i have told you initially that i will use vati to send the messages so the same application has already selected selecting the action even that is send template message clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for this api endpoint and the this access token okay so i am already logged in in my vati dashboard and here we have the option of api docs and from here you can copy this token let me paste the same here further it is asking for the end point which again i have copied let me paste the same here clicking on save and in this way my vati account will be immediately connected with pabli connect now the very first thing it is asking for the whatsapp number to whom you want to send the whatsapp message so i want to send the message to my customer who has attended appointment with me from where i can get the number remember we have already captured the customer's data as a response of our tidical step okay so let me search for the same phone number okay i remember the number was something like 96666 okay so i have added the same but you must be thinking this is just a dummy number so how i will send the whatsapp message don't worry i will replace this number with my genuine whatsapp number and then i'll show you how messages will be received here okay how about i delete this existing message because i want to show you everything from scratch you can notice that there are no messages available currently now coming back and now it is asking to select that template okay so whatever the templates are available already in my vati account have started visible here so before i select any template here let me explain you what is this template all about okay so whenever you are sending the whatsapp messages using official business api or whatsapp you will always have to firstly create a message template get it approved via parent company of whatsapp that is meta and then only you will be able to use these templates in order to initiate the conversation with your customers clients and users okay in this particular case i have already created one template and get the approval for the same if you want to learn how you can also create this template and get it approved well i will attach a dedicated video on the same into the description box you can check that video or you can also watch this particular tutorial okay so let me open this template and let me show you the name of the template is collect customer feedback the category i have selected is utility the language i have selected is english i have not defined any broadcast title and from here i have composed my message the message which i wanted to send and from here from this right hand side you can see the preview of my message now you must be thinking what are these names packed with the curly braces okay so whatever the values i want to keep on changing automatically i have specifically added those values in place of variables in terms of variable okay so basically the same template will be used to send the message to all the customers so that is why we will have to define some value in terms of variable only so that the details will be changed automatically so let's say i want that the name of the customer should appear here who is booking the appointment so that is why i have added this value in form of variable and in this way the name will look like the service will look like the date and time will appear in place of this particular variable and in this way the form link the customer form link will also appear here i hope you have understood everything footer and buttons option are 
are also provided here because it was optional so i have left blank asking for the sample content basically it will ask you to provide the sample content well it is nothing but just a sample content which you are telling the system that what values may come in place of these variables and once you will provide all the details you can submit it for the approval let me show you my template this template is already approved okay so i hope you have understood everything let me come back to the dashboard of public connect and let me select the same template asking for the broadcast the title so i will write something like customer feedback collect customer feedback i hope this name is looking good let me also capitalize this f asking for the custom parameters the most interesting part of this automation of this vat so basically from this particular field only we are going to provide the values to our variables yes what values will come in place of this variable these variables it will decide from this particular field now how you can provide the same data so the instruction the help text is given here you will have to copy this instruction you will have to copy this pair of curly braces and then you will have to paste the same braces for the same number of time basically according to the number of variables so currently i have this 1 2 3 and 4 variables in total so i will be pasting the same curly braces four times okay so for one i have already done second third and fourth okay how about i remove the extra spaces from here and yes it is looking good now try to understand in an easier way first is name is the color and value is the blue okay so in place of name you will have to define the variable name and in place of value you will have to define the value of that variable okay so the first variable we have is the name only okay so what will happen the name is name only and the value of the name is customer's name okay so from where i will provide the name of the customer from this tidical data okay let me search for the name of the customer which was something like dummy customer okay so i have added it now why i am mapping this name because i want that this name customer name should be replaced automatically as soon as a new booking is received okay so in this way i have successfully provided the value to my first variable now it's turn for the second variable and we have the second variable as this your service okay let me copy and paste the same and this time the name is your service and the value of your service is going to be the name i want that this nail appointment okay so in place of blue i have added the same thing that is name now it's turn to provide the value to the third variable and we have the third variable as this appointment time let me copy the same and i will be pasting the same variable name here also so this time the name is appointment date and the value of this appointment date is the appointment timing which i can map from here remember we have converted our date and time and it is looking good now finally it's turn to provide the value to the fourth variable and we have the fourth variable as this feedback form link so let me copy the same and this time we have the name as this and the value of the name is going to be the link of the form which i am going to copy from here okay so give me a second let me paste the same here and make sure that you also remove this extra end column okay let me also show you the form link let me show you how exactly i am about to collect the customer feedback okay so this is the customer feedback form where i'm asking my customers hey have you attended the appointment if they will select yes what will happen my form will ask more questions that is would you visit our salon again in future how satisfied are you with our service or how we can improve our service going back and if they will select no as the option it will ask them that we totally understand if you don't have time to attend the appointment would you like to reschedule it and here is the link to reschedule the appointment and here i have added the link of my 
appointment only from this tidycal software okay so i hope you have understood everything now before i click on this button i am going to replace this dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number and then i'll show you how message will be sent automatically and in this way you will be able to collect the customer's feedback directly and automatically from whatsapp so I have provided my genuine WhatsApp number, clicking on this button, save and send this request, waiting for the response, response is also received, well the message is also received and you can notice it is the same message and how the name of the customer has been replaced, how the service name, how the date and timing and how even the customer feedback form link has been attached, has been added along with my WhatsApp message. So in this way, with the help of Pabli Connect, you can build a connection in your your appointment booking software or in your e-commerce software with a whatsapp application and automate the collection process the feedback collection process okay and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this five step automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video